The year was 1991, the stage Super Bowl 25, where Whitney Houston delivered her stirring performance of the Star Spangled Banner. At the time, the U.S. was just 10 days into the Gulf War. 750 million people watched Whitney worldwide. It was not only a special time in the nation's history, but uh, it was, it wasn't just anybody singing it either. I mean, this was today's great, great, great singer singing at the height of her powers, breathing fire into a song that all of us have sung since we were children. 30 years later, her rendition of the national anthem remains unforgettable. Every year, once the Star Spangled Banner is being sung, and it's being sung very well by those who they've chosen. Mm -hmm. However, once the rendition that Whitney did, always a comparison. The single was re-released again in 2001 after 9-11 and peaked at number six on the Billboard charts. I don't think anyone has done it better. <laughs> And uh, no, you're absolutely right. No one has an oil will ever. Still, Whitney's soulful version has inspired a generation of performers. Obviously, nobody can do another version, a better version than Whitney. R&B singer Jasmine Sullivan has been tapped to sing the national anthem at the 2021 Super Bowl in Tampa Bay, Florida, the same city where Whitney performed it with country singer Eric Church. I'm definitely um, nervous, but mostly excited. There's a lot of pressure. I'm just here to represent uh, for my people and, and go up there and sing and, and bring some soul to it. What message do you hope um, it gives to see you two together, to hear you two performing together? Um, I just hope that it brings unity and it shows that you can be from two different um, parts of life and come together, you know, for a good common cause.